What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar and we are talking about Bitcoin Cash. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more from me. Shout out to the Dragon Riders. Let's get started, you guys. Um, $431 is the current price. We are at the base of this kind of consolidation range right here. How, what, whatever you want to identify this consolidation range as, you know, tomato, tomato. I'm looking at this specific region here where we found resistance several times on this line. And we've actually now just now found a double bottom down here at the bottom. Um, whether this is a true double bottom or not remains to be seen. You know, we have to we have to do some work, obviously, but I am expecting this to be the low. I was wrong on this last low here, and that's okay, right? You know, you can you can be wrong. You're gonna be wrong. Everybody is wrong at some point, even the best people, right? Um, and I'm definitely not claiming to be the best, so I'm I'm definitely gonna be wrong. I've been wrong before. I will be wrong again. I never shy away from that. But hopefully, round two here, you know, wrong here. Maybe we can get a a correct call on this one. I th I think that. This does stand to be a, a good area to bottom out. If we look at the relative price action, it is at the low points that we've had before. Uh, if we look at this relative low to high here, come on now. We're literally bouncing right off the 1618, the golden extension. Um, the 1618 is a number that's been significant and held significance at various points in, in this chart's history. Um, let's just see. High to low. 1618 resistance there again there you know you even came back and found support right on your 61869 zone the first time around um i don't know later disrespected it but before we really broke up you found support in this area too but just showing the significance that can happen off of a and the reason why you get so much significance throughout this range is because if you look at this for what it is this is the high to low this is like your you're winding up before you're breaking out of this downtrend. So that's why it's significant for the move that follows, if that if that makes any sense. That's why I'm measuring it from this one. I feel like it stands out if that doesn't make any sense, but um, that's the best explanation I have. So long story short, long story short, <clears throat> from a low to a high, we've literally tipped the 1618. We're bouncing off the oversold zone. We look really good right now, but we will, that that can change if we turn this around, we go lower, we get into the oversold zone, that that could change, right? So keep moving forward, let's get higher. Um, I'm back in Colorado, baby, let's get higher. 469, no, no, 474 is the price that you wanna hit. And if you can break that, then we can look for higher prices. So that's all I got to say. Um, right now, the, the price to watch again is $474. When we break that, we can talk about breaking out of this range. Until then, it is up in the air as to whether we go lower, whether this is the low or not. But I have hopes. I do believe that is the low. I'm going to put my I'm going to put my uh, faith, my my call in that this is the low. Uh, for the second time since this one here. So let's let's just hopefully hopefully it's not a repeat and we go lower. If it is, you know, we get lower prices, you can buy cheaper, but that's all I gotta say guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves as always. Oh, is there anything else I want to say? Hmm. I don't know. Four hour looks kind of shabby. It could look good if you continue to grow immediately more or less if not it's just more of the same you're, you're held down looking like you can go lower one hour looks kind of good but i'd like to i mean i feel like you would have moved up already i don't know why you haven't but sometimes you just move sideways that's you know that's okay 15 minute looks fine so some of these shorter term time frames do look good which would just you know again kind of give us the idea that we're moving higher relatively immediately but we'll see time will tell and uh i might look at this real quick i know guys i always do this i'll say end of the video and then i just do a little bit extra i mean you actually got oversold here that was the lowest price that we've seen versus bitcoin i mean since yes yeah, since march man that could be it let's see you're right there, man. 618, finally. You know, I know a few weeks ago or the last couple weeks we've been talking about it. We were thinking that could have been the low point and not hit that 618, but looks like it did it anyways. You're at, you're literally actually tied up with this low over here, right? I'm going to put the line right there at that low and look at how, 
how well it, it just, it's a little bit higher, I guess, but it's still right in that area. In any case, it's right at the 618, finding support there. I would think that you move higher. That's a perfect area to have a higher low versus Bitcoin. So things are about to get exciting, you guys. It'll really be exciting whenever we break above these highs. But that's that's it for real. Um, BCH, BTC chart is definitely worth watching. I mean, both charts are over the next coming days, but this could be this could be big. Like really, it really, it really could. If we can just continue over the weeks to move up, it could be very, very big for what's to come over the months. So again, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content as always. Although I have a feeling most of the people that, have, that are watching at this point are probably already subscribed. So uh, thank you guys for being here. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.